I think I'm in love. Absolver is an open world fighting game developed by Slowclap, in which the player has entire, and I do mean entire, control of every move in their arsenal. You know how you feel after watching The Matrix or Daredevil, like any movie or show with superb fight scenes? You imagine yourself walking down a dimly lit city street and you hear some old guy in an alley shout out as he gets mugged? You turn the corner, maybe crack your neck, and unleash your Shaolin wisdom on the mugger? No? It's me? It was weird? <clears throat> That's the feeling this game gives you. All. The. Time. It's a mashup of every awesome Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, Iron Fist, and Daredevil fight scene all thrown into one. So let's get into gameplay first. You start out and you're a prospect, wandering the world fighting all the lost prospects on your journey to defeat the marked ones. You'll more than likely come across many other players on your adventure and they can either help you, fight you, or completely ignore you. In all honesty, the gameplay should feel repetitive. Heck, it is repetitive, but it's just so much fun, it's so freaking fluid that it doesn't matter. There's so much depth here that simply saying there's so much depth here doesn't give the game half the justice it deserves. Like I said before, every single move you have can be replaced with one of hundreds of others. There are pages, pages upon pages of moves to learn, to master. Figuring out the order to align these moves within your combat deck is tantamount in achieving victory. Each move has its own damage, power speed, and range stat completely unique to that move. You have four stances, up left, up right, down left, and down right, and each move starts and ends in a different stance. You can link moves to these stances, creating your own unique combos that you'll need to master if you hope to become an absolver worth noticing. Many times, these combos will leave you in a completely different stance than you started in, meaning if you're really willing to delve deep into your combat deck, you can create some pretty awesome infinite combos using all of your attacks in succession. Certain attacks have special traits to come along with them too. This leg sweep, for example, dodges any high attack, and so on. Learning these attacks is fairly intuitive too. Just fight others who know the move. The lost prospects, the marked ones, other players, they all have their own combat deck, one that more than likely differs from your own. Dodging the attack, as well as simply defeating the opponent using it, will, over time, result in you learning the move and being able to equip it as well. It just feels, I don't know, natural. By the time you learn the move yourself, you really do feel like you've learned it. You've seen it so many times, seen what it's good at, what it's weak at, likely even figured out how to counter it. It's just such an ingenious way to learn new combat in a game. So let's talk about roaming the open world. The world is decently sized. It's not like the size of Skyrim or anything, and I think it's probably a good thing that it isn't, honestly. The point of the open world here isn't to dazzle you with scale. It doesn't relish in making you walk 30 minutes just to get somewhere. It's primarily a game about beating the noodles out of other people, and the game wastes no time letting you know that. Most corners you turn have one or two or four others waiting to fight you, and it feels good. Each fight feels like a test, not a, if you don't pass you get held back a year and everybody's under the impression you huff paint for the rest of your life kind of test. One where, if you don't pass, you die. Or at least respawn at the nearest respawn location. In a game where you fight dozens if not hundreds of other people every day, making every fight feel meaningful is quite the feat. It doesn't mean you won't sometimes just run past an enemy on your way to wherever it is you're going, because sometimes you will. But it means every fight feels like an opportunity to learn something new. And that goes especially for the marked ones. They, obviously, are typically more difficult than an average lost prospect. They use their abilities more often, and occasionally will pull out a weapon as well. These longer fights do provide ample opportunity to learn new moves. You won't be dodging or blocking the same move just once or twice, but likely 10 or 15 times, meaning by the end of the fight, you'll probably have something new to check out in your combat deck. Your combat deck isn't the only thing to upgrade, either. There's gear littered about, each one changing a different statistic. Your character levels up as well, giving you the opportunity to level up one basic stat each time. You level up relatively often, too. Quite a few times now, or at least in the beginning, meaning you can see the merits of your build soon enough. Fighting with friends is a particular thrill, not the least of which because friendly fire is most definitely a thing. You have to be careful with your attacks lest you do your enemy's job for them. And that's not to say player encounters will always be friendly either. A random passerby may have homicide on the mind and start kung fu fighting right then and there. 
If you're looking for a fight, you can't always queue up at one of the altars, too, matching you against an enemy in a first to three wins match. Now let's talk about the graphics. It's something like a minimalist style, but with, I don't know, some added flavor in there? There's just something about the graphics that's appealing. There's some good color variety around, and each section of the map has a somewhat unique color palette to it. The lighting, in my opinion, brings the most to the table. The shadows and the interplay of light are both spectacular, due not just to the superb lighting engine, but because of the way the world has been built. It's been built in a way where everything around is going to be creating some interesting shadows, adding a nice depth that isn't always there with the minimalist style. And the most important part of how this game looks is the animations. You could have the same mechanics in place, but if the animations were subpar, the game would suffer dramatically. Luckily, the animations are superb. In a game where you're creating your own combos, the dynamic way your character transitions into each move is impressive. It never feels like a poorly put together cut up. Each transition is believable and smooth. I have had some frame drops here or there on PS4, much, much more so when playing online. Hopefully they get that patched up soon. And sound is next. The sound effects in this game regularly bring a chuckle out of me. The heavy of a good kick, the of a successful punch, they all add to how satisfying each fight is. That feeling you get when you flip kick somebody in the face and send them crashing to the ground is amplified by the crunch your foot makes in their skull. Which brings me to the music. It's definitely solid. It isn't revolutionary, but it fits the game very well. A couple of times the transition was a little bit odd as the music changed from one track to another, but it didn't really pull me out that much. Absolver is probably my favorite fighting game I have ever played. There's a perfect marriage between the customization and the gameplay here. Every single fight has a purpose, and each one allows you to learn a little bit more about not only your combat deck, but that of your opponent too. It's just an idea that works. So I grade games based on how much I'm enjoying my time with it and the price of admission, in the case of Absolver, $30 USD. And I would say Absolver is definitely worth the price of admission. I would not be surprised to see myself blow past the 100 hour mark in this game and just keep playing. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video. If you liked this thing you just watched, maybe give it a like and subscribe. If not, make sure to downvote and let your friends know that I suck. And as always, thanks for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye bye